Previously on Frantic TV. The thing that I noticed was that the visor was fogging up like really fast. Immediately after I started riding, it's just like completely out. <laughs> All right, so on my last video, I unboxed my new helmet. And I had a lot of comments on my issue with the fogging of the lenses. So I got this guy. I wanted to try something cheap first before I started spending more money into <laughs> uh, adding a lot of stuff to the helmet or you know, sometimes in, in a lot of cases, uh, returning it and getting a new one so I figured I'd try something like this it's basically a clear plastic that you attach to the helmet since my helmet doesn't have the pin lock this was the best next thing for me to try all right so let's open it up Do I have my knife One of my very good friend, Vinny, AKA Johnny Prime, he told me that he had the same helmet and he was having the same issues. So what he did was he took <laughs> the front part, he took it out. So it became a half shelf helmet. The problem with that is I already have a helmet like that. And the whole purpose of getting this helmet is just for the winter so I can have my face covered completely. For me to take the front part off, it's not an option. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got some, I guess some cloth. All right, so we're gonna start with the process now. Actually, I need my glasses. Hold on, guys. All right, I got my glasses now. Oh yeah, it looks way better with the glasses. <laughs> okay, so remove the positioning mask with the red tag. This here. All right. Oh, so we have to remove little labels here so these little things are sticky points so you can stay attached to the, to the visor all right so this we are gonna put it on the outside I think this is uh, supposed to be like a guide so you can line up the visor if I'm not mistaken all right so it's on so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the visor from the helmet which I did before <laughs> so you see this thing here and you're gonna align it with the X so you have the X here and then you have the X on the visor Like so. Alright, so I'm gonna do some pressing here. We're gonna take the blue tab here. Alright, so I guess you can take this one off. I think. Yeah. Take this as well off, and it's already in place. All right, so now we're gonna connect this back together. Let's clean the table. All right, let me do the breath test. Oh, it's 
not funking up. Alright, we put it on. Alright, so I was breathing really hard to see if it will forgot and it didn't. So, but the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually get on the bike and try it out outside. I mean, I wasn't planning on going outside, but this was, <laughs> it's so cold outside. It was, I think it was snowing in the morning. Uh, but if I don't try it outside, I'm not gonna be able to really test it and see if it works. So let's jump on the bike and see if it works. and I was like breathing like really hard uh, and I mean I did it like I was actually like trying to fog it on purpose and then I was just breathing normal and the visor didn't get foggy at all so this is I don't know if you can see it on the on the screen but I can see clear let me show you Yes, my friends, I think I have fixed the problem. Who would have thought that a $20 item will fix this big problem? Because I think, and correct me if I'm mistaken, this is a big issue when it comes to full face uh, motorcycle helmets uh, with the visor, especially something like this, which is under $100 and having no pain lock, having no breathing box, I was kind of scared that it was going to become a problem, but as you see, it's really cold right now, which is, <sighs> but it's really cold right now. It was snowing in the morning and I have no issue with the visor. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I hope that this is something that it stays like this. <laughs> I'm going to keep riding again, but this is the perfect condition. This is why I got this helmet. I feel like I can ride with this in the winter. Uh, I don't know in the summer, this might be a little bit too much. I, I have other helmets that are more lighter and more like for the summer. But this one is going to be a keeper. So why don't we go back to the studio because I don't want to stay here for too long. <laughs> Oh my God, so I'm really happy with the way it came up. It's kind of surprised to me that the helmet doesn't come with something like this, which is something that I'm pretty sure that happens to a lot of people when they purchase something like this. And they have to like do crazy things like my friend where I have to take everything off and not use it the way it was meant to be. But I'm really happy that I worked out. I'm gonna keep riding in the winter with this and make sure that everything is gonna work over time. But in the meantime, if you find value in this video, make sure you subscribe and you like down there, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao. Okay. Do you wanna play